All right, welcome to our metabolic challenge class on this beautiful Wednesday morning. You can't tell because it's closed in up here, but good morning, everyone. We're gonna get started. We're gonna get warmed up and then we're gonna get nice, hot and sweaty and uh, ready for our Wednesday, our hump day today. So get you through the rest of the week, hopefully. So let's go ahead and we're gonna actually start down on the ground today. <clears throat> get yourself ready get into that glute bridge position. Let's drive up nice and high. Let yourself down nice and slow. Let's get 10 of those. Up quick, down slow. Up quick, down slow for 10. Okay. Just get those hips ready. Get those glutes ready. Nice, strong core. Squeeze at the top. Glutes are already sore, which is always fun. Get your 10. As soon as you're done with your 10, let's go straight into that bent knee hamstring. Bent knee hamstring here. Pull that knee to your chest. Kick that leg up nice and straight. Now, if you want to take a little extra time here, a little longer than what I'm doing, that's fine. You can take a couple of extra breaths. We're shooting for five. But if you want to do two really slow, that's fine. As long as your hamstrings are getting a nice, good stretch. I like to take like a second or two pause and let it down and then reset. But again, if you want to go a little longer, that's fine. Snow update. It's not snowing this morning, but it's there's still snow everywhere. Yay. <laughs> uh, crazy weather. It's actually pretty warm today, so it might all melt off. But the kids love it, which is always fun. I remember loving it when I was a kid. Now that I'm the one that has to shovel it and stuff, it's not as much fun. Good, get your five there. We're gonna come straight into our dead bug position. So we're gonna lock that core in. I'm gonna brace first, arms go up. Dead bug position, keep that core tight. Let's take two deep breaths here with that core tight. One more. Good, now we're gonna go opposite arm, opposite leg, reach out, come back. Other side. Five on each side. There you go, nice and strong. Take your time. We're still just getting things warmed up slowly here. And then we'll kick it up a notch before we start. Good, let's roll over into a quad position. Okay, so my knees are under my hips. My hands are under my shoulders. I'm gonna go ahead and sit back onto my heels. From there, I'm gonna take my right hand. I'm gonna reach underneath my left arm. So threading that needle, reaching underneath, stretching out my shoulder, T-spine a little bit. Deep breath, release. Now what I'm gonna do from here, I'm gonna reach up to the sky, rotate up looking where that hand is going, and then I'm gonna go right back underneath and hold. I want you to hold for about five breaths. Then we're gonna rotate up and switch sides. Good, go ahead and rotate up. And then switch to the other side. Okay, if you notice, I reach out a little bit now. Right, my arm isn't still right under my shoulder. I reach out a little bit into that almost child pose position as I reach underneath. Just helps to get a little lower into the shoulder, feels good. Should feel it on the outside of your shoulder, maybe down into your lat underneath your armpit. Good, rotate up. Good, back underneath. Good, 
last slow stretch. And then we're gonna speed things up a little bit. Rotate up. And stand. Now, Wednesday now is gonna be our C day. So Wednesday is gonna be our kind of total body blast day. So we're gonna warm things up a little slower and then we'll get into the craziness, okay? So let's go ahead. We're gonna go about shoulder width with our legs, toes pointed forward. We're gonna deep squat down. Go ahead and rock it out just a little bit. Drop those hands, drive those hips, roll up nice and slow, deep squat down, rock it out. Drop those hands, drive those hips and roll up. Let's do eight of these, down. Drop those hands, drive those hips, roll up. Good, make sure you're squeezing those glutes at the top. Okay, don't let them be lazy. Drop, lift, roll. Good. Got a couple more. Making sure things are getting ready to go. Looks like Pavani's in now. Good morning. So we got most of the crew in already. Everybody else is taking the week off, I'm sure. Good, let's go one more. Drive those hips and roll up. Every time I did that, my hips popped. All right, let's go drop lunge, drop lunge. Sweep that leg in behind, get that good drop lunge down. Now today to add a little extra, I'm gonna get a little twist here. Just grabbing the outside of my front knee, pulling my chest around, step up, sweep. Pull that chest around, come up, just like that. Okay, sweep, chest, and up. Let's go five. There we go. One more on this side. And we're gonna switch. So when we're doing these, don't twist too much. Don't pull too much on that knee. You give yourself a little knee ache. <laughs> give it a little extra twist. Just enough to get that T-spine to loosen up just a little. Getting warm now. Last one. Sweep around and step up. Okay, let's go inverted hamstring to knee drive. So I'm gonna go right leg as my base leg. I'm gonna go inverted hamstring. I'm gonna come down. If you need to use those arms as balance, you can. Come up, knee drive at the top. Go right back down, inverted hamstring, knee drive at the top. Now, if you need to kickstand, which is putting your leg down for a second, that's okay. Okay, find your balance. Bill, don't be pulling Cindy over. Get five, and then we'll switch to the other leg. We'll get this other side. We'll do our neural activation. And then it's time to kick off this Wednesday party. Okay, one more. I wish there was a way I could do everything single leg on my left leg, because it just looks like I'm so much more of a professional with my left leg, because I can actually balance on that leg. Okay, here we go. Neural activation, the last thing we have before kicking it off, reach up to the sky, first go, drop in, second go. We're doing our pogos, both feet, same time. Here we go, all the way up. Go, go. Two, one, rest, 
Good, again, all the way up. Go, go. Two, one, rest. Good, last one, all the way up. Go, go. Two, one, and rest. Grab a quick drink of water. Whew. Quick drink of water. Couple of deep breaths and we'll get things kicked off. <laughs> All right, so round one, we're going, whew, we have our split squat exchanges or split squat jumps, your choice, okay? We're gonna go there first. And then from there, we have renegade rows. So these are gonna be 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Just those two movements. Okay, we have a Tabata of those two movements. Okay, I'm not gonna say rounds because Jen's on here. Jen yells at me when I give her rounds. Okay, so you guys just get a guess. But we have split squat jumps. So I'll demo those. Split squat jump. I want you to stabilize each time. So come up, land, come up, land. If you don't want to jump, you can call that the superhero landing, right? But if you don't want to jump, we're just going to come up and get your lunges, okay? As fast as you can exchange. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Renegade rows. Now you have a choice. If you don't have weights and you don't have a way to do renegade rows, I'll show you your, your backup, okay? Renegade row, I'm in a good plank position. Row to my chest on each side. If you don't have weights, you're gonna go shoulder tap to your shoulders for that 20 seconds, okay? Shoulder taps in a plank position, okay? I still want you to pretend like you're lifting a really heavy weight so that you're getting some muscle activation in your arms. But renegade rows and split squats is our first round, okay? Get yourself ready, get your mind right, we got 10 seconds to start. Grab a quick drink of water. Here we go. 10 seconds. Whew. Whew. I'm already breathing hard. Three, two, one, go. So either your split squat jumps or exchanges, your choice. Make sure you do that superhero landing. Slow yourself down. Good jumps, good landings. And rest. Deep breaths. Reset. Renegade rows coming up in three, two, one, go. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Keep that core tight. Get those rows in. And rest. Round two coming up. We're going three, two, one, go. Keep pushing off the bottom, landing safe. Use those arms to help bounce. 10 more seconds. And rest. All right, five seconds, three, two, one, go. Make sure you're getting some water during the rest if you need it. Keep pushing, two, one, rest. Deep breaths, two, one, go. Five seconds, rest, quads are on fire. 
Three, two, one, go. Ten seconds to go. You guys got this. And rest. Five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Ten seconds. Come on, finish it. Let's go. Rest. Anybody else's quads on fire yet? Three, two, one, go. It's pretty bad when Renegade Row feels like a rest. And time. Take a breath. You got one more coming up. All right, here we go in three, two, one, go. Last one. Last 10 seconds. Let's go. And rest. All right, you got your last 20 seconds. Coming up. Five, four, three, two, one, go. And rest. All right. Don't sit down. Go ahead and put your toes underneath. Drive up into a down dog. Stretch those shoulders for a second. Open up that chest. Nice deep breaths. Pull into a plank position. Again, just loosening up those shoulders, tightening that core. Drive up. Stretch. All right, from here, we're doing toe touches, reaching for your toes. Let's go 10 on each side. On your own, 10 down dog toe touches on each side as our little active rest in between rounds, trying to bring that heart rate down a little bit. Let those quads relax for a second along with getting our shoulders, core, and glutes ready for this next round of total insanity. Once you're done with your 10 on each side, go ahead. At that point, you can come up to your feet, grab a quick drink of water. Good job. Okay, grab that drink. While you guys are drinking, getting some air in, I'm going to demo for you our next one, okay? So our next one is upper push, lower pull, okay? We're going to stay on our feet for this one. So now if you have a towel or a pillow or whatever you like to do slams with, we're going to do slams today, okay? So today is officially slams. Now we're not doing straight slams. We're doing our rotational. So my feet are about shoulder width apart. I go up over the top, slam it to my foot. Now notice as I come up and I slam, I'm still pushing through that hip towards the back of the room. Okay, so it's still coming through that pole in my hip. Okay, don't squat down 
and touch. It's a hinge down and touch, okay? <clears throat> From there, you have jumping push press. Okay, so if you want to use weights, you can. If you don't, that's fine. When we go together, we're up in the air. Okay, when we go wide, we come down. Hands are inside. Jump up, hands down. Jump up, hands down, okay? So if you're using weight, be careful on the way down. Don't drop it on your shoulders. When you're jumping up, if you have a short ceiling, make sure that you don't hit that ceiling. Okay. All right. 20 on, 10 off. Jen, if you counted rounds, I'm sorry, because we're doing the same. Okay, here we go. Get yourself ready. 10 seconds to start, starting with slams. Starting with those slams. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one, go. Make sure you're alternating sides. If you're using a pillow. Really beat that pillow. If you're using your laptop, really hit that laptop hard on the ground. Rest. 10 seconds. I'm going without weight on the first one. So wide at the bottom with your hands down. Two, one, go. There we go. See why we had to rest those quads? Rest. Slams coming up. Five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Make sure you're hinging at the hip. Don't squat. As you get tired, don't squat. Use that core, use those hips, rest. All right, five seconds, two, one, go. Twenty seconds seems like a long time on this one. Rest. All right, here we go. Five seconds. I'm getting ready for bikini weather. Two, one, go. I have to go to Hawaii or something so I can put on my bathing suit, get some sun here, vitamin D. It's important, especially this time of year. Rest. Get sun when you can. Two. One, go. There you go. Five seconds. And rest. That was way worse. Why didn't you guys tell me? Five, four, three, two, one, go. Ten seconds. And rest. All right, get that rest in. Two, one, go. And time, grab a quick drink of water. 
Okay. You guys survived the first part. We did our metabolic first. Our super metabolic. Grab a quick drink. Slow that heart rate down. Good. Okay, come to your back. Okay, come to your back. <coughs> We're gonna go back into that dead bug position. Okay, I'm gonna set a timer. 30 seconds, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna tie up in an egg position, okay? Just into an egg. From there, you just have to hold, okay? Here we go, 10 second countdown. I'll give you 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, lock up. 30 seconds. So I'm trying to keep my elbows Connected to my knees, 30 seconds of work, let's go. If you're shaking, you're doing it right, let's go. Come on, hold, you're getting there. 10 seconds, last 10 seconds. And rest, okay, we get 30 second rest and we're jumping right back in. And then we're going into our strength block at the end. <sighs> nice deep breaths. 30 seconds feels like a long time <clears throat> when you're not doing the work. It's a good rest. <sighs> All right, we got 10 seconds. Last one. Five, four, three, two, one, lock in. Now this one's gonna be tougher. Keep that core tight. Keep those knees attached. Keep those elbows attached. <sighs> Keep breathing. Don't try to hold your breath for 30 seconds. Not doing this. 10 seconds. <sighs> Two, one, rest. All right, good job. Grab another quick drink of water. And then you're gonna come right back to this position. Okay, right back to our glute bridge position. <clears throat> I'm still getting used to this remote thing with the timer. It's really nice because the timer work, works so much better than the one I used to use on the computer. You guys know I used to have to come up to the computer all the time. It was annoying, especially for me. All right, here we go, get yourself ready. So I'll demo through our first movement and then we're gonna get started and then I'll show you the next one as we go, okay? So we're gonna drive up. We're into our glute bridge position. Now, if you have sliders, you're more than welcome to use sliders, but as we found out last week, my sliders don't slide on this. So what I'm gonna do is a glute bridge walkout. Now you can do the same. You can do a glute bridge walkout or slider leg curls where you slide your legs out Slide your legs back with those glutes off the ground. Your guys' choice, we have 10, okay? Here we go, get yourself set. Remember, I'm gonna demo your next movement as we go. Five seconds, three, two, one, and go. Walk out and walk back. You have 10 of these, and then I'll show you your next movement. Keep those glutes off the ground with both of these, whichever one you're doing. Make sure that those glutes are always off the ground. Get your 10. And then we're gonna switch. All right, I got my 10. So I'm gonna set my glutes down. I'm gonna take those legs up and we're gonna do a leg lower, leg lower, leg lift. Leg lower, leg lower. Leg lift, we have five of those. Down, down, up, down, down, up. Good job. We got one more. And once you're done with five, roll over to that down dog position. Down dog position, 
Press up into your down dog. Okay, TP push-ups. Okay, my elbows go back towards my toes and I press back up. Elbows go down, press back up. Okay, you have 10. If your elbows don't touch the ground, that's okay. Go as low as you can. We're working those triceps. Make sure those elbows are going back, not out. We're going back, not out. Get your 10. Once you're done with your 10, come down to your belly. Down to your belly. You guys are doing so good. Good job. Okay, down to your belly. Hands go out. I'm going to lift my chest off. Arms come off. I'm going to sweep my hands behind my back and then back forward. Here's our pull. Okay, sweep, pulling my hands back, keeping my chest tight. Okay, don't let your chest touch the ground. If you want to add a little more, you can pull those feet off too. Your choice though. At least have that chest off the ground, face off the ground as you sweep for 10. Once you're done with your 10, we're back up on our feet really quick. Up on your feet once you're done. Next one's gonna be tough, so get yourself ready. I'm sweating like a pig today, okay? Single leg. I'm gonna pretend like I have something I don't wanna crush. My favorite Christmas ornament is under my right foot, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come into that chair position. Single leg squat, press back up. Okay, we have five of those on each side. Just go down as low as you can. If you have a chair or something, which I actually do, if you have a chair and you wanna put it there so you can do your single leg squat down to the chair, you can do that, okay? That's fine. But if you don't have a chair, just go as low as you can without tipping over. I didn't tell you you had to have a chair this morning. So get your five on each side. One leg might be easier than the other. Now this chair is a little low for me because when I come down, I'm beyond 90. I'm too tall for a chair. That's amazing. Get your five on each side, and then we're going right back to the beginning. Okay, leg curls or walkouts. Now you guys know what you're doing. We got about 12, well, about thir uh, 11 minutes left. Okay, 11 minutes left in this round. So get in as many rounds as you can. Remember it's leg curls for 10 or walkouts, your choice. And then we had our down, down, up, up. There we go. Then we have our down, down, up, up, leg drop. Or down, down, up, I should say, for five. And then down dog push ups. Now remember, elbows go back, not out. Elbows go back, not out for 10. Now, if you're going faster than me, your next one is your supine sweep. Okay, where you're laying, or not supine, prone sweep. 
So down on your chest, lift up, sweep those arms. You got 10 and then your single leg squat, five on each side. With or without a chair. Again, your choice. You guys are doing good. We're getting close. You're at seven minutes in. We're going for 15. So we're getting close. Anybody else sweating as bad as I am? This workout today must be in that higher metabolic threshold a little bit. Coach is feeling it today. Should have been this sweaty before slam. My slams would have been heavier. All right. And yes, I washed that towel. Just in case Bill was going to ask. I like, know Bill. So, why is a koala bear not considered a bear? Why is a koala bear not considered a bear? Think about it as you're going through this movement here. because he lacks the qualifications. Oh, <laughs> oh bad dad joke. Uh, it's amazing how many you get of those when members start sending you bad dad jokes. Now I can't repeat all of them on camera, but most of them are bad and most of them are dad jokes for sure. Not nice to make you laugh while you're working hard, is it? My bad. Sorry. I had another one earlier this week, but I can't remember if I told you guys it or not. I don't think I did. The chemical symbol for water is H2O. So what is the chemical symbol for ice? Chemistry kind of joke, kind of. It's H2O cubed. Oh, man. I don't remember where I found that one, but that one. <laughs> oh, boy. People that write these things, right? There's a guy in his basement somewhere just writing out bad puns, jokes. Probably gets paid good money to do it, too. There you go. Finish it out. Now, if you got to bounce early, I understand. It is Wednesday. There's a lot of meetings on Wednesdays. You got about four minutes to go. 7.50. This is it. So if you didn't get to finish this out because you have a meeting, you can always come back and do four more minutes of these same movements. Nothing else today. 
maybe some stretches at the end if you guys need them. These single leg squats have gotten harder. So there is some vacation time towards the end of the year that I'm taking. I am covering this class all except for the last two weeks of the year. Um, so I will be reaching out for somebody to cover. Hopefully it's covered. I know the week of Christmas, it's kind of a wash. A lot of you guys will probably be on vacation anyway. Um, but we're gonna try to have things as covered as possible moving forward. <clears throat> and then we're just gonna roll right on into the new year. So um, your coach is taking a few days off, off to rest and recover so we can come into the new year feeling ready to rock and roll. <sighs> gonna be a lot of classes in 2022 uh, and consults, so. It's going to be hitting the ground running for coaches that are doing the virtual stuff. So they're trying to give us some good R&R &R before 2022. But I'm not going to leave you guys hanging. I'm going to make sure that you have something just in case. Okay. But again, this week, rest of this week and next week, <clears throat> even though I have PTO, I will be teaching class so you guys aren't missing me and I'm not missing you. <sighs> All right. You got minute and 30 seconds left. Finish up what you can. All right, minute left, last minute to go. Finish up where you're at. If you wanna finish this round, we can finish this round even if we run out of time, it's gonna be close. Thirty seconds. I don't think I can finish ten single leg squats in thirty seconds. I don't think. Not good ones, at least. This takes me back to my days of doing athletic training. I made athletes do this so much on an Airx pad, which is what this feels like. So if nothing else, my ankle stability is going to be insane and my old athletic trainer I worked for would love it I'm sure all right we are officially 10 seconds over finish up finish that last round I think I did four I think counting the first one all right, thanks, Jen. Good job today. Woo. All right, everyone, let's stretch out really quick. If you have time, reach up to the sky, just reset, loosen things up, drive those shoulders back and down. So I'm not shoulders in my ear. I'm driving down just a little bit. Bring those arms out to the side and in front and then back up all the way up, stretch out one last time and release. Let's go right down the middle, hinge at that hip, 
reach for the floor. We're just gonna do this last stretch right here. Deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Just let gravity hold you for a second and then go ahead and roll up. Nice and slow. Good job this morning, everyone. I'll give you about nine minutes back. I appreciate you guys. Look forward to seeing you on Friday. Remember, if you need anything, email me or IM me at clintx.carlson at intel.com if you have any questions about um, going into 2022, so these last couple of weeks, uh, schedules or anything like that. Just let me know. All right. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Have a great Wednesday. Look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Woo, good job today. You guys are awesome. Talk to you guys soon. You're welcome. Bye, Tricia. Good job today. Talk to you guys soon. Bye, everyone.